make this super cute bow bag that can be used as a cosmetic bag or a pencil case. Now that we have all of our fabric cut, we're going to prepare the bow bag. Make sure you have two lining pieces, two outer pieces, two pieces for your bow, and one piece for your knot. So the first thing we're going to start on is the bow. Take both of your bow pieces that you cut out, put them right sides together, and then you're going to pin along the top and the bottom, which are the longest parts. Don't pin the short parts. Then you take it to your machine to sew. To sew these two pieces together, we're going to be using our regular presser foot on our machine, as seen here. Once you have both sides sewn, you're going to flip it right side out and set it aside. The next thing you're going to sew is the knot part of the bow. You do this by taking the piece of fabric that you cut, fold it in half like so, and then you're just going to sew up the edge, which is about a quarter of an inch seam allowance.
This piece you're also going to flip inside out. And how you do this is by attaching a safety pin to the upper edge and then just pulling it through the whole casing like so. Next, you're going to fold this piece in half with the seam facing you and sew across the top. Since we're getting ready to work on the bag, you're going to want to install your zipper foot first. Then, much like the last tutorial I did, you're going to start with the first side. Please take a look at the other video as I'm going to go through this pretty fast. You put your outer fabric first, right side up. You take your zipper. Your zipper should be facing right side down, which is the side that you would zip on. On top of that, you would place your lining fabric right side down to complete your zipper sandwich. Now you sew along this edge, removing the pins as you go until you reach the end. When you reach the end, do a quick little back stitch. Now to attach the other side, you put your outside fabric right side up. You take your first side and place that right side down with the zipper facing down. Then you cover that with your lining fabric with the print side down. Pin it all together and sew.
So we're halfway done now. We're going to open this all up so that you can see there's a zipper in the middle. You're going to spread this out, take it to the iron, press it as flat as you possibly can away from the zipper on both sides so that when you bring it back to the machine, you can do your top stitch to lock everything in place. Also take to the iron your bow. You're going to want to iron this out as well. Now I have everything ironed out super flat. I also decided to iron out my knot for my bow. Now Before we do that step, we're going to go ahead and do our top stitch to lock our lining and our outer fabric into place so that it doesn't snag when you try to open your zipper. It. This is what it's going to look like on the outside. I did my top stitch at a 3.0 length as I do all my bags. You can the top stitch just to hold everything in place so that when you're unzipping your bag, nothing snags. And you can even look under here. Pull off some of this thread here. You can see nice neat top stitch sewn away from the zipper. Now what you're going to do is separate the sides. First you want to unzip your bag one third of the way because as we attach our bow we're going to actually finish the bag all in one step. So you're going to take both of the outer pieces and separate them to one side and then both of the lining pieces separate them to the other side we're going to make sure that everything is matching up. And then what you want to do, you see you got your two lining pieces. You want to make sure all the corners match. Everything is lined up. And remember on the lining, you're, you're going to leave a hole. You're not going to saw all the way through your lining. You're going to leave a hole in the middle to flip your bag through at the end. Of the outer fabric, like I'm doing here, you're going to pin down both sides and make sure that they're flush with the edges of the bag. side over on top of the bow and you're going to pin all that down. Now the pins you put on the bow try to have those as far away from the edge as you can without it shifting. 
have to worry about sewing over your pins. You line up your zipper and pin that together because you're going to be sewing directly over it and cutting it once you're done with that part. All the way around the bag with a 5 8 seam allowance leaving a small opening inside the lining part where you're going to flip the bag where you, when you're done. the bag right side out pushing everything through the lining but be careful because you still have those pins stuck inside the bow
corners, especially in your lining, before you seal it up. Bag. And now you have this super cute bow bag. I like to pull my knot a little more to one side than the other side, but you can keep it in the middle if you like. Now all that's left to do is to seal the inside of the lining and you do this by pinning it closed and sewing a really small stitch as close to the edge as you possibly can.